Closure for a community in the Inland Empire tonight. A man has been found guilty of kidnapping and killing a 17 year old girl this nearly nine years ago. Kick it on. Nicole Comstock is live in Moreno Valley with details on today's verdict. Nicole. Jeff, an emotional day for so many people in Moreno Valley today learning about that verdict. Nine years ago, Norma Lopez was simply cutting through this neighborhood after summer school and making her way across this field here when investigators say she was kidnapped. Now, today we spoke with one of the lead investigators on the case at the time who spoke about how difficult it was for him trying to find her. Nearly a decade has passed since Moreno Valley teenager Norma Lopez was kidnapped and killed while walking home from summer school. But Wednesday, Jesse Perez Torres had no visible reaction in court when a Riverside County jury found him guilty of her murder in the first degree. Originally, I felt like... Back in 2010, Sheriff Chad Bianco was the lead detective on the case. I felt like I failed the family by not finding her. He remembers the fear pulsing through the community for the five days Norma was missing. This was a boogeyman case. Um, this was a, 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 a truly innocent little girl. The 17 year old walked the route many times from Valley View High School down a few residential streets and across this field to a friend's house. Prosecutors argued Perez Torres could see Norma from his home, that he killed her and left her body in a dirt field three miles away. For a week, I didn't go home. Um, I slept in my office if I slept. It took a year and a half of detective work and ultimately DNA from one of Norma's earrings for investigators to identify and arrest Perez Torres. This is very emotional for me. Uh, it was a long time coming. Because jurors also found Perez Torres guilty of murder in the commission of a felony kidnapping, he's eligible for the death penalty. District Attorney Mike Hestron says Governor Newsom's recent death penalty moratorium will not impact the penalty phase of this trial because it doesn't change the law. Well, in an interview some time ago, one of Norma Lopez's family members said they weren't looking for the death penalty in this case, but rather life in prison. We reached out to them tonight to see if they felt any differently about that so many years later, and we haven't heard back from them just yet. The penalty phase of this trial begins tomorrow in Riverside County. For now, reporting live in Moreno Valley, Nicole Comstock, KCAL 9 News.